Hey, what's up, guys? So, you know, and I don't know. It's it, it's amazing to me that people have this opinion. Like, whether your president is racism, it races. It doesn't matter. What is he doing as president? How does it affect his job? I just want the policies. I'm like, wow. It's amazing to me the ignorance. When I say ignorant, I don't mean it in a way that's offensive because the word sounds offensive to so most people. It is offensive if it's used offensively a lot of time. But I use the word ignorance as a neutral term. Oh, I'm sorry. We're back. So when people ask me, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm repeating myself because, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't know when it tuned out. But I think what people fail to realize what people always ask, oh, yeah, you know, why is racist support? All I care about his job is, you know, as president, you know, I think he said the shithole comment as a distraction because people wouldn't don't even know what the meeting was about. What was the meeting about? You know, and here's my issue with that. <clears throat> like, wow. And I'm going to say the word ignorance. Now, most of the time, ignorance is used as a derogatory term, is used in a negative term, but I'm using it as neutral. You know, I'm not using it as no way insultive. You know, I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm not trying to be derogatory towards anybody. I'm just using it as a state of this being a person who does not have knowledge. Whether you don't have knowledge because you're not of that race, or you don't have knowledge because you're young and don't have that many life experience compared to somebody who's almost um, a lot older than you. A lot older than you. I'm just going to say that. And I think what most people don't realize is that race is important in the president. You can't just say, oh, I don't care about race. It does, it just, it does not affect how all you care about how he does his job as far as policies. Oh, and he doesn't, it's like, he doesn't have all the power. There's so many uh, checks and balances. Here's what people don't understand. Don't understand. Racism does matter in your president because if you notice, he is, since he's become president, a lot of these hate groups feel more emboldened to have protests. You know, a lot of these hate groups are actually literally in their publications are excited that Donald Trump is president and they tell him, they say, yeah, Donald Trump, we hear your voice. We hear you. So they're emboldened. There are lots of acts of terrorism that are acted out against non-white groups in this country that a lot of officials don't even recognize or put in their reports. They're so quick to put out the acts of terrorism when it comes to Muslims against Americans. But for some reason, you don't ever hear Trump that much speak out about acts of terrorism against non-white groups. That affects the country. See, being president is more about, is not just about, oh, you put together policies and, and you know, you represent the country. It's about being a moral compass and example to Americans. And keep in mind, and I'm, I'm, I'm smiling and laughing about this, the people that say it doesn't matter, he's racist, are, are white people. And I'm not being racist. I'm just saying, of course, I expect you to feel the way you do. It doesn't affect you. But it affects me every time I get stopped by a cop. If he feels like he's emboldened, you know, by the president to treat me in a certain way. I worry. I'm scared to go in certain parts of the country where I know there's a lot of white supremacists. And he's emboldened by the rest of the country. So it's like, wow, it's amazing how the only positive thing that Trump has does, I mean, has done. I'm sorry, I'm tired. It's still early in the morning. As he's emboldened people to speak their minds, and I'm finding out, wow, a lot of people are very ignorant. Like, wow, racism is definitely not important to you. You're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. It's not okay to say other like, oh, you want to do a, you want to have a distraction. There are many ways to have a to have a distraction. Why do you have to choose a racist way? And it's very well documented that Donald Trump back in the um, 80s was sued because he would not give housing to, quote unquote, people of color. Come on now. That's not okay to have him as president say it's okay that he's racist because how does it affect his policies? Wow. 
it has changed my view. Unfortunately, having discussions with certain people, it has changed my view um, of a lot of different people. I'm not saying for the good. I'm not saying for the better. I'm not saying for the worse. It just changed my view of a lot of different people. Like race doesn't matter to people. It's okay to have someone racist as part of the country as long, I mean, as, as President of the United States, as long as you feel that he's doing a good job with policies, as long as you feel like he's doing the best for our country, quote unquote. Wow. I just can't put that together. Too many people are making excuses for this gentleman. Where, and here's the weird thing about it. Too many people are making excuses for Donald Trump where if I said the same stuff as head of the emergency room while I'm working, if I behave the same way towards my patients, think about it. Let's think about this. If I behave the same way with my language towards my patients in the emergency room, if I behave the same way towards any of my other jobs, I'm driving to my uh, landmark center. Uh, here's what thing about people even say oh yeah he just says it he just says it how it is a lot of people can't take how it is no no there's a way that you speak to people there's a way that you communicate to people there is a way I'm in a communication course okay I'm in a year long communication course where I, I help people communicate there's a way to communicate people that you can leave them feel better than the way that you uh, left them there's a way that you can use your words to build people up like why are so many people making excuses about his behavior when you would not accept that same behavior from me or from your doctor or from your boss or from your mom or from your spouse. Too many people are making excuses about this guy. Too many people, be, oh my gosh, I'm just amazed. It's teaching me, Donald Trump is teaching me a lot about people, how people can have an ideal, a, an idea or ideal and be blind. And no matter what that person says, you just keep making excuses for him. You'll be shocked about the excuses that people are making like people th these are people who i know love and respect on a personal level social level intellectual level and they're making so many excuses for him wow it's amazing people who i know love and respect and they're just making excuses for this president wow you're it's People are willing to stoop down and accept behavior. And don't get me wrong, I've had discussions with people, and they'll, and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's not right what you said. But here's the thing about it: when we discuss them, the first thing that comes out of your mouth is excuses, justifications, and then after 10, 15 minutes, yeah, he shouldn't say that. That's not right. Like, wow, that's the first thing that comes out of your mouth is ex explanation, justifications for his behavior and you would not accept that from me if I behave like Donald Trump I would not have a job I would not have a marriage oh my gosh as far as his language man he just oh my lord stop making excuses with Donald Trump you guys and just be honest with yourself and just be consistent in your arguments um, his language is hateful. His being is very hateful. And, uh, mm, oh my Lord. Anyway, that's my piece. That's my piece. It's just, I, I'm amazed at what's coming out of people's mouths when I have a discussion with them. Let's get to the point where, where I'm, I'm going to have to decrease my discussion of politics and not talk to people about politics anymore. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I have to not talk about politics with people anymore. I'm just gonna do my. I'm just gonna do my best. To just keep educating myself about the issues that's going on. Not only the controversial issues, but you know what is going on as far as uh, you know what's being passed and not passed. The details of a lot of the legislation is being considered, and just pray for people who honestly believe. Oh, it's okay. It's okay to be racist. It's all right. It's okay. How is it affecting his policies? But it's amazing it's coming from you because you're not you're not black. You're not black. 
like wow and that's one thing I've noticed that a lot of people who justify it's easy to justify when it doesn't touch you you know um, and I said this before it's different like keep in mind and keep in mind by my perspective and, and, and please hear me out guys you gotta remember every day I live in a world where I'm always when I'm most of the time I'm one black guy and I'm surrounded by uh, 80% white people every day every day that's my existence um, and whether I'm at work like easily any ship I could be the one black guy and I'm in charge of nothing but white techs and white nurses uh, most of my patients are white so I'm around a lot of people who don't look like me very few white people can say oh you know what I'm in an environment where you know I'm around only black people you know, every day you know I mean, I, and I'm like I said when I turn on the TV mostly white people I watch a movie mostly white people like every day my existence is around you know mostly white people um I read a book authored by white people but what I'm saying is this very few white people can say they're in the world oh when I'm stopped by a police officer for speeding mostly white very few white people can say hey when I turn on the TV mostly black people you know I, I don't see I don't see myself I work in a mostly black environment. My patients are black. Very few white people can say that. There's some that can, but not a majority. So we look at the world a little bit differently. Um, then just the same way that I can't imagine how it is to be a woman. I walk around in the world as a 200 plus, way over 200 plus guy with muscles, six feet tall. I can't imagine being a woman walking around in the world where 50% of the population is physically bigger and stronger than you and you're being objectified every day whether it's on TV, magazines, or movies or whatever I can't, I don't know what that feels like but I'm not going to be insensitive and say hey, it doesn't matter if he's sexist what does it matter, how does he do his job like wow, wow that shows zero empathy, zero empathy and the thing about people express these views very bold and like ugh like, wow. Anyway, peace out, guys. I'm done.